Hey guys, it's me Daniel and in this video you're gonna see me paying down my debt um, step by step uh, from student loans to credit cards and it's just me early in the morning deciding to finally pay off my debt and you're gonna see me with low energy because I'm just like should I do it should I not but I end up doing it and just enjoy the process of me finally getting rid of my debt and which I'm now finally here I am in the future the video that you will be seeing is me in the past but i am feeling great and i hope you enjoy this video and i encourage you if you have debt to pay it off and feel the weight come off your shoulder and you can finally uh, start saving money without having to uh, have it go to you know credit cards and debt so you know enjoy today i made the decision that i'm gonna pay off my debt rather than using my money that i have saved to trade in the stock market. I did this decision because simply I'm not being profitable. So instead of killing my account, I'd rather kill my debt once and for all and I have anything to worry about or have any pressure to make gains in the, in the stock market. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just get rid of all the debt I have, which is, you know, a, t a total of I think 21,000, 12,000 or 13,000 from student loans, 5,000 from a credit card that I use to like pay off, you know, rent, food. And then I have another card that's $3,000 because I bought a laptop. And the first credit card actually incurred a car accident. So in there, there's like $2,000 worth of a car accident. As you can see in the screen, that's how much money I have available to withdraw um today i actually lost money as you can probably guesstimate how much so the next strategy would be you know after i pay off the debt is to trade with a small amount and gradually earn my way to you know maybe a twenty five thousand dollar account that will prove to me that i'm good you know rather than having a bunch of money and then just wiping it out. I rather gain the knowledge and experience and acquire the skills necessary to make increments little by little. That money that you see here, you know, it's the money I save by working my ass off, you know, at a nine to five. Um, I did in a course of a year and a half, somewhere around there. I worked every day um, maybe like four day, four months. I did every day nonstop. Maybe one day a month, like dentist appointment. Do my best to cut my expenses. I don't buy clothes. I don't, you know, except for this computer. I I splurged, and I don't regret it. You know, it's a nice computer, but whatever. Um, I I don't spend too much. Uh, the psychology behind this is that I'm gonna going to try to enjoy, you know a little bit more of the money I make from my nine to five and then have some money in, in a trading account and that's what I'm gonna play with. I'm not gonna add more money from my nine to five. That money is just gonna be for other purposes that that are away from risk. I came to my senses, I'm not gonna risk this money, this 25,000 that I have left. Um, I'm not gonna risk it, it's not worth it and i'm just gonna pay off the debt i have accumulated and you will see me make those uh, payments just for the heck of it so right now i'm gonna take let's just do 24 24 see i don't even know how much i should but i'm just gonna take out some it's like i have left over my bank account i'm gonna leave some in here whatever's left in here is gonna be you know to trade so one time today continue oh. uh, see I'm not even a millionaire <laughs> I put any <that> million <laughs> okay continue submit all right cool all right what's up guys so now we're here gonna pay my account for my savior accounts 2900 it was more before but i made some payments but now i'm gonna do a whole lump sum payment so here we are I'm gonna enter the full current balance um you know this the card i used to pay my laptop 
um, and it was an expensive laptop it was for the purpose of trading stocks and here we go making payment submit okay we're good now we're gonna move on to my discover card and here's where I accrued five thousand dollars and I've also made payments but now I'm gonna do lump sum payment of the current balance and here I accumulated car accidents I've accumulated um, rent and other stuff and it was for the purpose of also helping me save the account money the money I needed for my trading account but it was not you know a lot but it was just some and uh, but a good chunk of it is you know uh, the car accident and here we are Th what I just entered is my uh, my Nelnet account which is where I have my student loans so now it's student loans that's up next uh, it's very big you will see these are the amounts 2000 1000 3000 4000 uh, I will select each of them sorry it doesn't show and right now I'm just recording a on top of the video because the, so for some reason the video did not record my voice so here are the total twelve thousand four hundred thirty two hundred and i will be submitting it right now pay now um that's my roommate <laughs> sorry this is a little bit clumsy so it goes through you know I did it all in the morning so this is just a run through of you know a day later of it being paid off the saver card this is my discover card also being paid off with a balance of 2059 cents remaining that will you know eventually get we paid off the, and then this is my uh, Nelnet account my Nelnet student loans student being loans completely paid off as you can see it, you know well it's actually processing in that right now it's processing in here and then you will right see now. in the next and part where it is finally paid and right here you see the current amount due zero dollars last payment for twelve thousand four hundred thirty two dollars and just to remind you guys i'm not a financial advisor and this is just me sharing my opinion and doing it for entertainment purposes only me sharing my life with you guys because this is social media and that's it have a great day